Hi guys, I'm back for another video. Today we're going to talk about makeup and the perfect type of makeup for open call. Do I get my makeup done professionally at a makeup counter? Or do I cover up all my blemishes so that they don't know that I might have a few scars on my chin and on my forehead? Or do I just go all natural? Well, there's a happy middle to that. The purpose of going to open call is to show the agencies what they have to work with. You don't want to come in looking like a model per se. You want to come in looking like a blank canvas. Something that they can work with and something that they can develop. When you go into open call, you want to have what we will refer to as a fresh face. I would go in with my makeup pretty much as it is today. Um, which is a pretty simple look to achieve. I make us very natural. I don't have much going on, which I never do. A lot of people are scared to go natural. It's really an uncomfortable place for a lot of people, but try going with no makeup. If you don't have like a lot of blemishes on your face, it's definitely okay to go ahead and go with a fresh face. And no makeup can be no makeup to light makeup. Um, both ways work. So light makeup meaning if you have blemishes on your chin or on your forehead just lightly covering those up and maybe a little mascara that would be considered going natural so if you're comfortable with that definitely go for that because it gives the agency to look at your face as a blank canvas also go with light foundation light foundation is very important because if you have a lot of foundation on your face agents are thinking now what the hell is she trying to hide why is there like three inches of makeup piled on her face. So you definitely want to steer away from using heavy foundation. I know a lot of women like to wear concealer under their eyes, under here because it makes it look brighter and make your eyes look a little more vibrant. For going to open call, you definitely do not want to wear concealer because once again, it makes you look like that girl who's in the magazine and that's where we're trying to get you. So you want to have a natural, fresh face for the agents to look at. Move on to the lips. Now, today I have on my clear tinted lip gloss. Here it is. It's by Clinique. It was a special edition called Black Honey that was only carried at, I think it was Ulta or Sephora. Sephora. It was a special one made by them. This is the only type of lip gloss I wear. I hate lipstick. So something like this would be perfect for open call. And this is called Black Honey. And then I also wear this one, which is called Raspberry. It really doesn't have much of a tint to it, but it just acts that extra little oomph to your lips. So definitely do a tinted lip gloss versus a lipstick. Moving on to the eyes. So how do you accent your eyes and highlight your eyes? You don't want to put a whole lot of eyeshadow on your eyes. You don't want to do a super dramatic smoky eye. Those are beautiful. But for this situation, we're trying to stay natural. We definitely want to steer away from all things that may look make you look glammed up. What we're going to do to enhance our eyes is that we're going to use a little light mascara. Today, I don't have a much mascara. I put on maybe a couple of coats. I have two of my favorite types of mascara. My favorite favorite um, is called Dior Show Blackout. Now, I've been using this for a couple of years now, I think, and I really, really like this. It gives you dramatic, full eyelashes, but they're not too dramatic. You put on a couple of coats, it doesn't look out of control. So I love this one. But a more affordable mascara that can give you give your eyes that same kind of pop without being too much is called Falsies. Now I love this. I just started using this about two weeks ago. It's by Maybelline, and it gives your eyelashes such a pop. This is what I'm wearing today, um, and I absolutely love this. So this is my new best friend. So done with the mascara. Now moving on to blush. Should you wear a blush to an open call? Well. There are certain types of blush you can wear to an open call. Well, usually when I go to castings, I'll put on my NARS, hmm, what is this called? It's called like an all-in-one stick, I think. But this NARS, it's called Maui, the color that I use. Let's see, here's the color, you guys can't really see it. But it's a little pinky, which is good for my skin tone. And what I do is I would put just a little bit on each cheek from, you know, cheekbone falling up to here, cheekbone up to here, and then I just blend it in. Um, 
not blending in with the stick, <laughs> but blending in it with the brush. And just blend it in until it mixes in with my foundation versus looking like a very vibrant blush. This creates a fresh look to your face and makes your skin look really healthy and vibrant. So you can do something light like this, but nothing too heavy and nothing that stands out too much. Eyebrows. I almost forgot eyebrows. With your eyebrows, you don't want to do anything too dramatic. Maybe just filling in your eyebrows if you know that you have gaps places like today my eyebrows are filled in just a little bit but this is about as much as filling in as I do but you definitely want to keep it light nothing too drawn on nothing too dramatic because they don't want to see that when you go into open call a couple other things to stay away from you want to stay away from bronzers you want to stay away from spray on tan you don't want to go in looking like a pumpkin super orange <laughs> definitely a no-no and definitely not natural so you definitely want to stay away from those two things as well as eyeliner eyeliner changes the shape of your eyes and kind of changes how your eye looks so the agent doesn't get a good feel for what your eyes really look like so you want to stay away from eyeliner as well i think we covered everything today and let me know if you have any questions you can put in the comment section below oh something stuck to my face the next video we're going to talk about hair so how you should wear your hair when you go to open call now that video should be a little shorter than this video but that's what we talk about next all right so until next time bye